Sarkis Thomas Netter was born to Thomas and Mary Netter in 1921. He was the youngest of seven children. Sarkis joined the Army Air Corps and served as engineer and top turret gunner in World War II. War Department, April 11, 1945. Dear Mrs. Netter, this letter is to confirm my recent telegram in which you were regretfully informed that your son, Sergeant Sarkis T. Netter, Air Corps, has been reported missing in action over Germany since March 24, 1945. I realize the distress caused by failure to receive more information or details. Therefore, I wish to assure you that in the event additional information is received at any time, it will be transmitted to you without delay. If no information is received in the meantime, I will communicate with you again three months from the date of this letter. It is the policy of the Commanding General of the Army Air Forces, upon receipt of the missing air crew report, to convey to you any details that might be contained in that report. Inquiries relative to allowances, effects, and allotments should be addressed to the agencies indicated in the enclosed Bulletin of Information. Permit me to extend to you my heartfelt sympathy during this period of uncertainty. Sincerely yours, J. A. Ulio. The following information has been reported by Robert D. Vance, one of the two survivors of Southern Comfort 3. This video was made from the film I received from Lt. Col. Ursel P. Harville some years after World War II. At the same time he made the film, he was a captain of the 44th Bomb Group, based in Shipdom, England, and was the group photo officer. All of the film, video now, is actual wartime or combat footage. The main portion of this film is of the low-level supply dropping mission of March 24, 1945, which was called Operation Varsity in support of the Allied ground troops in the big offensive crossing of the Rhine River. Some of the other footage that Harville added was taken from previous missions. Captain Harville flew on the mission of the 24th and was able to capture on film two of the 44th Bomb Group aircraft being shot down by enemy ground fire.
The other footage that you see, especially high altitude shots, was added, like the waste gunner shooting down an enemy fighter. We had our waste guns removed on that mission for several reasons. being shot down is Southern Comfort 3 with pilot Max E. Chandler and his crew. We had just dropped our supplies when we took a bad hit. The bomb bay and number 4 engine immediately started to burn. We dropped down and hit the ground with the aft section of the fuselage and the verticals then went airborne again for about 90 seconds then hit the ground again with the right wing hitting first, spinning us around causing the ship to tear apart and seconds later it exploded. De Blasio and I were partially thrown clear and managed to crawl away. The rest of the crew were killed. The second ship was that of Lieutenant Leonard Crandall and his crew. They got hit and had number one engine smoking. As you can see on the video, they stalled out, nosed over, and dove straight into the ground, exploding on impact, killing all nine men aboard.
The 2nd Air Division sent 240 B-24s on that low-level mission and lost 22 aircraft that day second only to Ploesti for losses on a low-level mission. The 44th Bomb Group dispatched 27 aircraft to lead the 14th Combat Wing on that highly important mission to establish the new Rhine Bridgehead just two and a half miles west-northwest of Wessel, Germany. War Department, May 8, 1945. Dear Mrs. Netter, It is with profound regret that I confirm the recent telegram informing you of the death of your son, Sergeant Sarkis T. Netter, Air Corps, who was previously reported missing in action over Germany. An official message has now been received which states that he was killed in action on March 25, 1945. Provisions have been made for the unit commander or chaplain to send a letter containing further information to the emergency addresses or next of kin of each person who dies overseas in the service of our country. Since these letters must be written under combat conditions, it is not known just when the letter can be expected but it is hoped that it will not be long delayed. I realize the anxiety you have suffered since he was first reported missing in action and deeply regret the sorrow this letter report brings you. May the knowledge that he made the supreme sacrifice for his home and country be a source of sustaining comfort. My sympathy is with you in this time of great sorrow. Sincerely yours, J. A. Ulio. Know all men by these presents that Sarkis Thomas Netter served in the armed forces of the United States of America against nations which ruthlessly sought to destroy the sacred principles of American liberty, justice, and equality. Therefore, whereas the above person was duly instrumental in the preserving of these inalienable rights for which our forebears and those of this war did not die in vain, be it here known that this name is forever gloriously inscribed upon America's honor roll of heroic defenders and will, through the grace of God in whom we trust, be handed down to posterity. Dated December 17, 1945.